Welcome. Uh, as everyone else has said, our roster is a little bit bigger than what you see up here, and we owe some to the uh, softball game tonight. Um, I'd like to thank everyone from, for being here tonight on behalf of uh, the volleyball team and the entire athletic department. Um, standard thank yous go out to the students first, because without the students, the district wouldn't exist and the athletic program would not exist. And then, of course, we wouldn't have the students if it wasn't for the parents. So thank you very much, uh, parents, for providing your students for our volleyball team, athletic program, and school district. But uh, to extend it a little bit further, I have some other thank yous. And first of all, I'd like to thank Mrs. Hobb, who is our district superintendent. She's not only here tonight, which hasn't always been the course for the superintendent of schools, but I can remember several home volleyball matches where she was in attendance. I remember seeing her in the corner right over there in the gym. And uh, even though she didn't know, we noticed, we noticed, and I want to say thank you. Uh, also, in kind of a tongue-in-cheek way, I'd like to thank Pete Watkins, who was our athletic director in the fall. And I say tongue-in-cheek kind of way because about five years ago, I stopped coaching volleyball in the fall. I had been doing it for a long time, and uh, my youngest of three children was just going into her freshman year of high school at that time, and she was an athlete at her high school in the fall. So I told Pete that I had to step aside and give somebody else a chance uh, because my daughter, uh, you know, was going to be a fall athlete, and I wanted to follow her around for the next four years. Which, unfortunately, about a year ago, Pete remembered that I had, that's why I had stepped aside. And he came up to me and he said, Shay's going to college, right? You're not going to go to college where there, are you? And I said, no, Pete, I'm not. And so that's how I uh, came back to the volleyball team again. And I'd like to thank uh, my team because although I didn't know quite what I was getting a hold of uh, this fall, it was a very fine uh, group of ladies, uh, athletes, students. And I enjoyed myself very much. And while I'm thanking people, um, I have to thank also Teresa Eckert, because she was my professional score person for all the home volleyball matches. Thank you, Teresa. And I also have to thank Paul Soliotis and Christopher Rhodes, because uh, they, they were student, um, I'll say student managers for the volleyball team. They helped me out a great deal. Uh, Christopher operated the uh, electronics console during our home matches and Paul was our team statistician. He took our stats all year long as well. Um, finally, but not, well actually I have two more thank yous. Uh, Mrs. Hugo, okay, all I can say is um, in one negative situation there is a positive opportunity. And we had a, uh, the, the girls' swim team did not field the team last fall because of a uh, situation in the neighboring school district. And so that was, you know, too bad for the Highland swimmers. However, the volleyball team and myself benefited a great deal because we picked up Sam Panic 
and Kelly Hugo, who would have ordinarily swam, uh, onto our volleyball roster. And volleyball was very grateful for that. And um, all of the girls, along with their school letters, got nice little scrapbook put together pictures uh, some photographs that uh, Mrs. Hugo was kind enough to take during the season. And it was a wonderful job, so I'm very grateful um, for having Kelly, and by extension her mom, part of the volleyball team this fall. Made us literally look real good. Um, my final thank you is the person that gets overlooked the most uh, and is so important to the athletic program. And uh, that would be Eileen Alverson. Um, I could stand here and take up the entire program tonight telling you all of the wonderful things that Eileen does to support every single athletic team. Um, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to say, Eileen, thank you very much. You're awesome.